My name is Jaden Wilson, and you're watching Mass and Tiger Football only on WHS TV. The Eye of the Tiger. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the game that everybody has been waiting for. Maslin Tigers are going to take on the McKinley Bulldogs at Tom Benson's Hall of Fame Stadium. And you could just already feel it in your stomachs as you're just the nervousness and the jitters and everybody just excited waiting for this game that finally happened as these two great teams have already been having one heck of a season as the Tigers are 9-0 and and the McKinley Bulldogs are 8-1. and And let me just say this, this is going to be one of those games that you're just going to really just remember as the Tigers are getting ready to just lace up and just start hitting and just keep playing. And right now the Bulldogs are about to get ready in the tunnel and they're about to come out. Zion Pfeiffer, all the running backs, they did all well. 
They've been talking a lot this week. Coach Moore has been talking a lot this week, and this game is a lot of hype around it. Jaden Ballard is making an appearance in this game also, as a lot of people thought he would not be playing as he had a boot on his foot for since last, last game against Louisville as he was hurt a little bit of an ankle injury, but he looks all right today. He's been practicing and he's been having a little bit of fun on that ankle and just everything healed up right now. It's, it's, I'm glad to see him back up on field. Number 42, we all know Magnus Haynes is getting ready to kick off the ball to number 12 and number one. Terrell Dilworth and Tyson Durant. Terrell is a junior 5'10", 185, and Tyson is a senior 5'11", 175. These guys have been having a pretty good season so far. But this this Maslin special teams, man, is something else. They know how to work. They know how to play. They play rough. They play, they play with that. They, their foot on the gas, no letting up. They just keep on going, and they, they just they drive for that win, and that's what they're going to get today. That's what they're looking for today is that W. And now all the, that talk and everything is away. It's time to actually play some football as Magnus Haynes is getting ready to kick off this ball. And he will just fair catch that as Mass and Tigers defense will be out on the field. Benjamin Greekbaum, the general of the field, as alongside with Noah Richards, Bobby Page, Luke Murphy. You got Isaiah Roberson as your corner. You got, I think they're starting uh, TJ Williams. No, Anthony Pedro, the senior, is starting out today. And then you also have Preston Hodges out there. Those those seniors in the backfield, their backfield is crazy. Now, let me get to the defensive line, the trench life. You got Corey Campbell, Big Manny. And then you got Ethan Tobin alongside Caden Woolard, who has been having a great season. He's only a junior at that, at that as he will be running outside on the left side, but quickly brought down by Noah Richards. Noah Richards, senior linebacker. Dilworth was trying to get a nice little QB sneak out there as it looked good, but Noah Richards just read that play very well as he came around the side and made that made that that tackle on Dilworth as Dilworth was still trying to get around to his little blockers that he had. And Robbie Page there to clean it all up as you can see some hype right there as they've been talking a lot of They've been talking back and forth, McKinley and Maslin, and Robbie Page was in the middle of all that as these two these two teams have, you guys all know, have a lot, a lot of history. And they, these, this game right here has one of the, probably the biggest hype in the country. And excuse me, that is number seven, Elijah Wesley, as the quarterback in the backfield. Elijah in the back with one back as he has two. Looking for the receiver. Beams it and almost picked off by Isaiah Roberson, number eight. He read that perfectly. He read that perfectly. See, you need McKinley. Wesley needs to realize that these this ain't no ordinary game. This is you, if you want to go make that pass, you better throw it with confidence, full confidence. Isaiah Robertson, Anthony Pedro, T.J. Williams, Ahmad Williams, Darian Williams, all four of those guys have been playing terrific this season on a one-on-one -on -one type base. And even though Isaiah Robertson, like I say, every game is lacking in the height difference, he sure knows how to play football and he plays aggressive. And here comes Mass and Tigers offense. Terrence Keys, number six in the backfield. The big boy, you cannot tackle this guy one on one. You need more players to surround him and try to get him down. And then you have the two star studs, Andrew Wilson Lamp, number 21, and Jaden Ballard, number, 90, not number nine, on the field. Michael Billman will be filling in in the fullback position as number 96. 
doubles over on the right as they're side up along each other. Terrence Keys on the right side of the backfield. Aiden Longwell with the hand off to Terrence. Terrence right up the middle for about a gain of four. Senior number six, Terrence Keys Jr., the ball carrier. On the stop for the Bulldogs, number 10, junior <coughs> defensive back, Brian Pinkney. Massing just really trying to just trying to get something started on this Terrence Keys run game as he can he can quickly see as you, as we watch through these all these games through week ten through week nine you could tell Terrence Keys once he gets started man he doesn't really let up as he's just bouncing a couple tackles off and he's right up the field for about a gain of I want to say twelve or fifteen. And then what Maslin does, they run the ball a lot, and then McKinley and other teams, they get adjusted to the running game, but then they shortly start realizing that, hey, they got a pretty good receiving core. And just like that, look, they pass the ball to Jaden Ballard. Jaden Ballard is up the field for a gain of about a four on the play. But Jaden and Andrew Wilson Lamp, these guys, Ohio State commit, and then you got one kid that pretty much every college in the country is looking for this kid. And when you have two receivers 12, like that Tyson on the same Durant. side of the ball on offense, you just you just got to think to yourself how to be cover this. And then they're probably and then you can't do man, so they're probably going to play a little cover zone. But right now they're it's looking like they are playing man against them as Terrence Keys will be getting the handoff, runs right up the middle, hits a blocker, and will be brought behind the line. They're doing a different type of form, uh, formation as Jaden Ballard and Andrew Wilson Lamp are actually lining up on sides, on the same side together. But here they come, they're bringing out the normal formation as Andrew, Anthony Pedro is out there on the field on the left side alongside with Jaden Ballard, one on one with Andrew Wilson Lamp. Tyler Friend, as they get somebody to jump on the little bait they put out. Tyler Friend is back in as fullback as we've seen him all season long. Here comes Ethan Tobin and Michael Billman back out. This is the first we're actually seeing Tobin on the offensive side of the ball. As he is playing tight end on the right side. Aiden looking for the pass to Jaden Ballard. Jaden Ballard drops the ball. And they're calling that an incomplete pass. It's picked up by Jonah Lytle, number four, who's also haven't been having a good season so far for McKinley. Let's see how he can actually do against these two star studs. The ruling on the field is an incomplete Jayden pass. Jaden and uh, Andrew. Second down. Passing with so many weapons they can use against anybody. You have Terrence Keys. If Terrence Keys gets tired, you put Zion Pfeiffer right back in. As Zion Pfeiffer gets tired, hey, you got Rayquan Vincent. Why don't you put that big boy in? It's just a lot of a lot of weapons that the Tigers like to use. As Jaden Ballard, number nine, is for a good gain of about a three or four. Tackle on the play by junior defensive back number four. And of course, both of these teams want to strike first. Well, Maslin, most likely the team to get the first type of points on the board as they've been having a great season, blowing out a lot of teams, running up the score a lot. Their last game, 24, I want to recall, 24 to 0 against Louisville. And a lot of people say that's a bad game for the Tigers, but hey, when you shut out a team at your own stadium, that's a pretty good game. Terrence Keys with the wide open look as he's running up the left side. Down. Keeps possession. Zion Pfeiffer in as they're taking out Ethan Tobin, Terrence Keys, putting in Tyler Friend, Zion Pfeiffer, Michael Billman, and they're gonna run this one in. They're gonna they're gonna drive this one right into the city gates. As you can hear, the crowd is getting loud on both sides of the ball, both sides of the stadium. Zion gets the handoff, bounces outside, runs up the middle in the first down and more. He's still going. Zion Pfeiffer is playing like he's played for the last couple of years. Once this ball gets in his hand, he takes over the show and he keeps on going. 
a bunch of these backers on the Tigers uh, offense, they just can't be tackled by one person. You think they, he, get, he gets down, but he really doesn't. He stays up on his feet. He's a strong kid. His balance is crazy. Zion with the handoff, running again. A little bit of blitz, but again, about two or three on the play. Leading the defensive charge for the Bulldogs, number six, junior linebacker, D.J. Garrett. The ball carrier, number 29, Zion Pfeiffer. Game of two to the 15, second down. Eight. Terrence Keys back into the game. Michael Billman also back into the game. Ethan Tobin is lined up at, at a tight end 50, number 50, as you can see on the field, left side. Aiden, Long, Aiden Longwell back in uh, shotgun formation. Terrence Keys motion over to the left. Aiden dropping back, looking for the pass. Jaden Ballard open, tries to get away. And brought down pretty quick. And there's a flag on the field, it seems to be like, and that might be on the defense. Stuff been, is getting brought out into this game that you don't really see in a normal, in a normal game because this is no ordinary game. This is a Masson and McKinley football game. Aiden Longwell shotgun, double on the left. Longwell dropping back, looking for the pass. Bombs it to Andrew Wilson Lamp. Andrew tries to get a little spin cycle going, and then he is brought down. Open field tackle by number 20. And at this point, you're probably thinking that the Tigers are just trying to get in a nice field goal range, put a quick three points on the board as there's six minutes and 10 seconds left. It's fourth down, 13 to go. Ball on the 20. Dylan Guy, number 47, is brought into the game as a fullback. Actually, a pretty minimalist tight end also. Shirts over on the right. Aiden Longwell drops back, looking for the pass. He might have to pass, get the balls off. And that ball is way too overthrown. That would be turning the ball down. And that pass was intended to block the pace. And that was a good, good defensive fly for McKinley. Masson had a little bit of something going, but that unsupposed by Cargo stopped them back and pushed them a little bit farther away from the end zone. That's not what they play at all. This game, you gotta really keep your head on and just don't lose your head because this is where the game the rest are really strict. They're gonna they're gonna throw any flag at any point if they see something going on. So the Tigers just both teams gotta keep their head on their shoulders. TJ Williams is in on the left side. Hand off right up the middle, but brought down fast by Manny McElroy and Preston Hodges. And that was a holding on the offense number 58, as that will bring McKinley back at tither almost against the wall. As the Tigers love this type of position, they they, they, this is where they thrive at. Their defense really holds them down, holds these type of teams down when they're in this type of position. Timeout. And that is a defensive timeout. The Tigers will be taking a timeout. Now to hear a word from our sponsor, Downtown Massive Association. There's so much special about Maslin. You can't walk down the street without smiling and saying hello to someone who knows you, who knows your family. In today's society, we're getting fewer and fewer opportunities for families to enjoy each other in an outside activity that is free. We have that. It's a strong community. People give back. Maslin continues to give back with the residents and businesses to those in need, and, and it's a great thing to be a part of. Big game's on. 
you could watch a game like this. Or you could watch a game like this surrounded by fans just like you. At the Erie Street Pub, the game never ends. Open seven days a week. Erie Street Pub has pub style food at the right price with daily lunch specials. Wednesday is ladies night and enjoy our large outside bar and patio. What's keeping you from the Erie Street Pub? Just up the road from Genshaft Fields. What are you waiting for? Come join us at Erie Street Pub. Thank you to our sponsors, Downtown Lassen Association and Erie Street Pub. And we're back at it with the action as the defense is coming out as they got a pretty good play. I, on McKinley's offenses, McKinley had a holding penalty call and that they brought them back a, about 10 yards away from where they really wanted to be with the line of scrimmage. Wesley in the backfield. Draws back. Fake handoff and drops the ball. As Preston Hodges and Raleigh Page brought a little bit of the heat the intended receiver, Jalen Ross. Preston Hodges on the coverage for Maslin. Second and 20. Lamir Garrett is a senior, 6 foot, 200 pounds. And boy, that's a big running back in the backfield for, the, for McKinley. And you're probably, we're probably going to be seeing a lot of him during this game. Elijah in the backfield, doubles on the left. And that is a timeout on the offense. Now a word from our sponsor, Buell and Oliveri. A special Jones. thank you to Altman. If you're like most people, your life is a series of brush strokes, large and small. Moments from the everyday to the extraordinary. As you move through your world, let Grange Insurance and an independent agent put the finishing touches on an insurance plan to meet your needs. Now, that's a stroke of genius. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange independent agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Also, playoff tickets at the stadium will be selling for Maslin. Sales at the stadium ticket office from 7.30 a.m. to 3, 4 p.m. For season ticket holders, team, band, cheerleader, parents only. Season holders must present orange playoff card, one card per person. That will be happening on Tuesday, the 5th. And he's breaking apart, and he's... That was a big, big game for McKinley as they are back in action with about five yards to go to their first down. Those ticket sales will be happening the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. That will be another timeout for Mass and Tigers. Now to hear a word from our sponsor, Bonnie's and Gravers Gallery. For nearly 20 years, Bonnie's and Gravers Gallery and Signs in downtown Maslin has been your one-stop shopping destination for all things printing. Whether it be small projects like business cards, coffee mugs, and plaques, or larger items like personalized vital cutouts or full-color digital and printing. Their laser engraver is perfect for name tags and desk plates, and don't forget their large selection of trophies and photo frames. Once Bonnie's has your business logo, they can put it on just about anything. You can even bring in your own items to have personalized. Stop in today at Bonnie's Engravers Gallery and Signs. On your way out, following Thank you the conclusion of the sponsor, Bonnie's Engravers Gallery. Four minutes and 49 seconds to go. Both teams at a zero and zero. But Elijah, he has to be feeling quite comfortable with the, seems to be a seven-man front. 
Yeah, it's seven man front. Uh, all in front of him to block these big guys, Corey Campbell, Manny McRoy, and uh, Ethan Tobin alongside with Caden Willard. These, these guys, McKinley's going to have to use every bit of their, their line to be able to block these guys because these guys have been having a terrific season as he's bouncing out to the outside, but that doesn't matter to TJ Williams as he wraps him up and picks him up and dumps him down. The defense came around, swarmed him, and just laid him down to the ground. What a great play by the defense to contain that outside. Number 11, Jalen Ross, the senior, tried to bounce out and get that outside, but the contain by TJ Williams was just too good. And he wouldn't let that happen as he picked him up and he, he wrapped him up and brought him down alongside of some of his brothers too. Almost block, a block punt, a block punt. Against the Tigers as that came off the butt of Amon Williams off the punt. And now the McKinley Bulldogs have the ball again for another possession. Junior Brandon Foster with the ball recovery and his ball in midfield. Eliza in the backfield, one back on the right side. Hands off right up the middle and brought down by Robbie Page and Noah Richardson. Noah Richardson. Those are the type of mistakes that the special teams usually don't even see make. But it happens, especially in these type of games, this type of energy around the field. This, this is the type of game you just gotta shrug, off, shrug the type of mental mistakes that happen, the type of mistakes that happen, you just gotta keep playing and keep your head up. Another handoff from one man to beat. Benjamin Freebomb and Preston Hodges wraps him up pretty fast, lays him out. Here Garrett is getting the ball a lot this game. He's a big running back and he's been running it pretty well so far. He's even hitting the hole, he's running up deep, but this defense has just been stopping him. Looks like pretty good run, but they they just been stopping. Isaiah Robinson with the one-on-one. -on -one. Anthony Pedro with the one-on-one. -on -one. Most of this action is happening right in the middle. Motions over to the number 11. Oh, and a big hit by Robbie Page as he will lay out. Jalen Ross again. Jalen Ross is getting hit pretty hard these these last couple of runs and last couple of drives that's been happening for McKinley. Well, but Massa's defense loves hitting. Let me tell you right now, they love getting to the ball. They love wrapping up. They love getting the little highlight films. Elijah motions over number five. Hands it off the ball, but he's going to be brought up in the backfield. It's a little no gain at all. Oh, and they're calling a flag on that for it. Seems to be Preston Hodges picking up the ball and running it. Also seems to be an injury on the play.
was a delay of game on Preston Hodges, number three, as he did like a little innocent type of thing, picking up the ball, running a little bit. But the refs, like I said, just looking for anything to throw the flags as these players want to stay focused and stay into the game at all costs. Smallest things in this game can get you get a little yellow flag thrown out on the field and get you pushed back, and that's what thing you don't want to happen. And they will push it to get the first down, and as they will be moving up. Luke Murphy on the tackle. First down, So far, they're not looking to throw the ball at all as they've just been running the ball a lot so far in this first quarter with 109 to play. Ball on the 28. Masson's coverage defense. Oh, and the ball, the ball is loose, and they're looking for it. Luke Murphy is right onto that, and he gets the play, and he makes that. Those are the type of make mistakes you do not want to make, especially with the Master Tigers defense on the field. And you got players like Robbie Page, Luke Murphy, and Preston Hodges lurking on the outside, ready for something to slip up like that. And right there, Luke Murphy was ready for that play to happen. He made, he made the tackle on number five, Lemire Garrett. Play by Master Tigers defense. Elijah in the backfield, dropping back, looking for a pass, and he's throwing deep. He's going for all the money. And that is a touchdown. Number nine, Xavier Black, the junior, with the play. McKinley scoring. Does it seem to be Anthony Peter was dropping back just because he thought the pass was going to be much shorter than what it actually was. And the pass was over the head of Anthony Pedro and right into the arms of Xavier Black. With only three seconds left in the first quarter, too. Have a craving for great tasting Southern kitchen items and smokehouse favorites like pulled pork, smoked brisket, and hearty ribs? Then you need to take your big appetite to Angry Barbecue located in downtown Massa. Angry Barbecue has something for everyone, including awesome appetizers, barbecue platters, specialty burgers, vegetarian choices, and lip smacking desserts. And don't forget about Angry Barbecue's catering service for your next big event. So head on down to Angry Barbecue located at the corner of Lincoln Way and Erie Street in downtown Massa. Thank you for that word from response. Right now, Mass Tiger special teams out on the field as they, Elijah Wesley made a beautiful pass to Xavier Black. But now the Mass Tigers are keeping their heads up. They're ready to play and they want to get the ball back as fast as they can and show the McKinley Bulldogs why they're number one in the division. And the Tigers are going to make this number known. Their presence is known right after this kick. Marshall, the kickoff for McKinley. And that's going to be a delay of game on the McKinley special teams. Have the 
for the Tigers, number six, Terrence Case Jr. on the Madison side. On the and side, you got a lot of them. You got the same old, same old guys in the backfield as you got Terrence Keith Jr. in the back, number six, Jaden Ballard alongside him in the backfield, ready to return these kicks. Here we go, it's three seconds left on the clock. Let's see if something can get happening. And a little fumble on the play by Austin Browley. Good thing that didn't turn into something worse than what the Tigers actually wanted. One second on the clock. Let's see if the Tigers will actually have anything to do on the field. If they will go for it all, they will just wait until the second quarter to actually do something. First and 10 Tigers from the mass on 40. And Coach Moore a little bit upset there as he was looking for a little penalty flag as Austin Bradley landed on the ball. A couple of McKinley players landed and looked to seem a little late hit on the field. Terrence Keyes with the handoff, bounces out to the right, breaks a couple tackles. He's looking for daylight and he is brought down. And boy, oh boy, would have that been something to end the first quarter off. As that is seven to zero, the Tigers will be getting the ball back after after this first Hold quarter on, of play. Tigers nothing. Now a word from our uh, sponsor, Pal Chiropractic. Yeah. You may be able to avoid invasive back surgery and drugs with a call to Powell Chiropractic. Innovators in chiropractic care for nearly 50 years, the doctors at Powell have created the discovery system of care for those suffering disc problems. Developed with advanced technologies not offered by most chiropractors. Avoid surgery and dangerous drugs. Call today for a free consultation and preliminary exam. The only thing you have to lose is the pain. Powell Chiropractic Clinic, located on Munson Street Northwest in Belden Village. And visit us online at powellchiropractic.com. The road of life can take us on many journeys, some wonderful, others not so wonderful. Through Maslin AAA, you can expect the unexpected with money-saving rates on auto insurance, homeowner's insurance, health insurance, and life insurance. Maslin AAA, it's more than travel, it's about traveling the road of life with the peace of mind you get from complete insurance coverage. So make sure you're insured, carry the card, and get insurance with someone you trust. Insure with AAA. Medicap Pharmacy on Lincoln Way West has been serving our area for over 20 years. They're your local pharmacy that cares about you and your time. I can get them filled from five to 10 minutes. If I go to a chain drug store, I may have to wait half hour to an hour. Enjoy their convenient drive through service along with free delivery in the Maslin area. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, owner and pharmacist at Medicap Pharmacy. Stop in sometime soon and you can experience our fast and friendly service. I grew up in Maslin. We're a tight-knit community. We know our neighbors. We see them Friday nights at the stadium and Saturday mornings at the grocery store. Since 1937, Progressive Chevy has been serving their neighbors, their friends, with those same values. When you do business with Progressive Chevrolet, you invest in more than a car. You invest in our community. Progressive Chevrolet, they're just good people. Collecting a total of 309 usable pints of blood that will help thank more than 1,200 people in need. Sponsors. On behalf of the QDC Morning Show, we Private thank you for listening. We'll see you next Mass year. Massive AAA, Medicap Pharmacy, and Progressive Chevrolet. And just before we came back onto air maslin tiger with winning the uh the blood drive against Kenton mckinley and then just hopefully another dub after another for the tigers after this game as they won against the blood drive against mckinley and that's a great thing to see as the community comes together just to support everything for the tigers and a couple of first quarter stats robbie page leading the defense with three and a half tackles and wow he's already he's already wet already on a roll. Emmanuel McElroy with two tackles alongside with Luke Murphy, you net one, one and a half. You just 
Luke is always on the always on the papers. Is he's always leading something in tackles. Terrence Noah Keys. Richards with one and a half also. Terrence Keys five carries, 42 yards, tw longest 23 right after this first quarter was over. Before the first quarter was over, averaging 8.4. Zion five for two with 12, averaging six. His longest was a 10. Aiden Longwell four for six is 20 yards. His longest was also a 10. TJ Williams, he, uh, he had no punt returns. But uh, let's go to McKinley's as Lemire Garrett has eight carries for 29 yards. His longest was a 15 yard carry. And that was crazy as this pass is made by Jaden Ballard, but he slipped up on the field a little bit. Pass is complete. Tyson Durant, to two tackles. Nine. Jonah Lytle, two tackles. Dejor Garrett with an, also another two tackles. This team is consistent on all sides with tackles. Elijah Wesley, one for three. But that one, that one completion was for a touchdown to Xavier Black, a long of 34 yards. Aiden Longwell with a little mix up on the run play, and uh, that got Terrence Keys a little bit shaken up right there. Not shaken up, just a little bit of a little contact right there. You just don't really see that from the kid though. When the, the handoff and the call is called wrong, it happens, but you just don't want to happen in these type of games. Quarterback sacked by the leader on the McKinley Bulldogs throughout the season, number 16, sophomore Manny Powell. Doubles on the right, Anthony Pizzo, Jaden Ballard. Timeout time out. on the Bulldogs. The second time out of half. Now for a word from our sponsor, Friends and Family Credit Union. Welcome to Friends and Family Credit Union, where we believe every member is a friend of the family. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. We provide financial needs in the most reasonable and cost-effective way. What are you waiting for? Stop in one of our locations today to become a friend of the family. Your man cave is a lie. It's not a masculine refuge, it's a basement in your wife's house. Caves don't have frilly craft store signs. Yell about it. In your man cave, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> Wake up, head upstairs and get to B-dubs where the kegerators are just called taps, the wall color is TVs, and the wings taste like freedom. Also, your friends actually like coming here. Buffalo Wild Wings, roar! The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. those words from our sponsors friends and family credit union buffalo wild wings and masson and the masson boys and girls club and also the tigers winning against mckinley again against them in the the 2019 food fight aiden longwell drops back looking for a pass he's he's going he's probably going deep he's going deep with Jaden ballard Jaden ballard oh and he got tripped up by a ref and there was a flag on the play, but Jaden Ballard was a little bit upset as there was, as he just got tripped up by a referee. And a sportsmanlike conduct call on defense, number 15. That would be Rodney Donald, a junior defense alignment. 
But man, oh man, would have that been great with Jaden Ballard catching a beautiful throw as Aiden Longwood was hurried to throw the ball. And it seems to be Robbie Page is going to be playing a lot on offense, it seems to be like, as he's been putting in some of the special plays that they got going on. Another handoff. As he will be about a gain of about six or five on the play. Andrew Wilson Lamp playing the corner position. TJ Williams always out, also out there too. And this is uh, something to see. Andrew Wilson Lamp has, is playing both sides of the ball also. Elijah steps back, looking for a handoff. Beautiful handoff, but he is scooped up by number two, Robbie Page. And Robbie Page loves contact. He's gonna try to get the hit. He's not gonna evade from a tackle. He's gonna go, he's gonna go and he's gonna get you. And Luke Murphy and Robbie Page, they don't let nothing get behind them. 9 4 in this first half of play. Ball on the 29, still 10 to go to get this first down. Elijah with the keep, and he's brought down by Benjamin Krugbaum and 49, Caden Woolard. Leading the defensive charge for the Tigers, number 49, junior linebacker Caden Wooler. Gain of two to the 31, second down eight. And this is a lot of, you see a lot of change up in positions today. As they, you want to bring out everything and anything against both teams. Both teams want to prove what, what type of season they're going to have, and they want to prove against each other who's the best at all at all costs. They want to throw in anybody and everybody at different positions just to try something and see if it would work against these guys. Number one with the handoff, but he stopped pretty soon as that is a gain about two or three on the play. And here comes Xavier Edwards and that Seth Lance. Both of two special teams, very highlight players. They, they are always on a highlight film or some sorts. If these guys are always the leaders, I would like to say, of special teams. Little speed package that got going on. Elijah is dropping back, looking for the pass, but he's wrapped up by Caden Woolard, and that will be a loss of about seven or six. Woolard, Caden Woolard. That is his name, and he's going to make it be known to Elijah as he brought him down and threw him to the ground. And just like that, Maslin Tigers special teams back on the field to return a punt. Maslin, if they get a bad punt on this play, they could get really good field position, and they still have six minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. And we all know how Maslin is in the red zone. They get, if they get in there, they're gonna score. Nice little punt, Andrew Wilson Lamp looking to not return it. Once again, here comes the Massive Tigers offense, run by Aiden Longwell. A reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if the school that does the most chin-ups 
determines tonight's winner, so be sure to get to the chin up challenge for your school. We'll be announcing the winning school between the third and fourth quarters part of the great American rivalry series. As a reminder about the butt kicks, they'll go on sale immediately following today's game. Week number one of the high school football playoffs begin next Friday night, November 8th. Join WHS-TV as we bring you Mass and Tiger football as our Tigers begin their playoff journey. Watch the replays only on WHS-TV on November 10th, 11th, and 12th at 12, 4, and 8 p.m. and on November 13th at 8 p.m. Catch our playoff bound Tigers next weekend on WHS TV. Find us on MCTV channel 611 and 11. And right now the Tigers a little bit sluggish, but we know once they get a little bit started, there's no stopping the Tigers. The Tigers are just a train. They keep on going. They don't slow down for nobody. Aiden Longwell in the backfield, handing it off to Terrence Keith. Terrence Keith breaks the tackle, drops over to the side, and that will be a gain of a loss about two, actually, on the play. <laughs> Tigers just trying to get something started. Jaron Hodges back into the game. Trips over on the left. You know, a solo one-on-one -on -one with Andrew Wilson Lamp. Terrence Keyes lined up on the left side of Aiden Longwell. Aiden Longwell in shotgun formation. Aiden Longwell dropping back. Wide open is a Terrence Keys, and he has one man to beat. And we all know, ooh. We all know it's hard to and we all know it's hard to tackle Terrence Keys on a one-on-one -on -one situation, but that was a good cleanup by number six. Dejour Garrett, the junior. And they're gonna put big boy Zion in number 29 as we see him go in a lot for these type of plays. And let's see if he can actually make the push. Number 29, the ball carrier for Maslin. And it Zion seems to be Parker. so. That will be a first down for the Tigers. Zion is a very reliable running back. They put him in to get these first downs done. As he's a big boy and he, he likes to grit and get these yards for the team. He's a, he's a selfless player. Very selfless player. Is number two, Nehemiah Stovall. Double on the right with Jaden Baller, Anthony Pedro. Tight of Friend alongside the right line behind, right side of the line behind Terrence Rankel. Terrence Keys with the ball again. Gain about three on the play. Tripped up by number four, junior Jonah Lytle. Gain of four to the 44. It'll be second down six. Aiden and shotgun. Try to get the bait out. Nobody took it. Terrence with the handoff. He breaks a couple tackles. He's bouncing out to the outside, and he tried to get the first down. But it is very hard to tackle this man as he does so well. And, the flag on the play. and that will be on the defense, a penalty call, and that will give the Tigers a first down. I mean, it's going to be so, I hope. That is a 15-yard penalty. That will move the Tigers up right up the field with 4.15 to go in the first half. And this is something you don't want for the Bulldogs defense as the Tigers, once they get close to the end zone, they want to get in that zone and it's, they're going to make it happen. Same formation, but Zion Pfeiffer is in it on the left side. They're going to move Zion over to the right. Hey, Longwell still in shotgun. Drops back, looking for the pass. Andrew Wilson Lamp with the catch, and it seems to be a first down, but we're going to see what the refs call it. Wilson Lamp. And the tackle for the Bulldogs, number 16, Manny Powell. And probably, honestly, just short Timeout of a first down, but they're probably going to, oh, and they're going to move that to the first down. First down for Andrew Wilson Lamp. What a beautiful throw by Aiden. And the bunch sale. Remember, 
to stop by after the ball game. Don't go before because you won't be allowed back in the stadium. Same formation, Zion lined up on the right side. Longwell hands off to Zion. Zion finds a hole. He's breaking free. And that is a first down and a couple more. Zion, you just don't give that to him that type of room because he knows how to hit those holes. And he can, if he has to, he'll create his own to get through that line and make a couple of yards and make plays like he's doing. Like I said, you got, we got too many. We have too many weapons in the backfield that you can't just get used to one. You got to adjust your lineup to every single one. You have Zion Pfeiffer, you have Raycon Vincent, and then you have Terrence Keith Jr. Zion Pfeiffer just not going down as he's staying up on his feet. A couple of friendly words being tossed down there. That was a gain about three on the play. Second down, seven. Second and seven on the play. Ball on the 12. Going to have two fullbacks in the backfield. Michael Billman, Tyler Friend. Aiden's dropping back. He's looking for a pass to Jaden Ballard. Jaden Ballard's jumping up. He catches it right over him. Jaden Ballard, nice into the touchdown. Number nine, making his reason why he's a Ohio State commit. He stood there. He waited for the pass, and he, he just chilled right over top as the defensive player was trying to make a play. But we all knew you can't guard Jaden one-on-one if you're in the red zone. It's just not possible. The kid is too good. And this Alex Bauer kick is coming up for this extra point. Kick is up, and the kick is good, making the score seven to seven. Four, 221 in the first half. Tigers are tied with the Bulldogs. Now we will hear a word from our sponsor, Your Pizza Shop. Serving the Maslin area since the 1960s, Your Pizza Shop, located on Maslin's west side, has great tasting pizza and a whole lot more. Their large menu includes pizza, wings, pressure fried chicken, oven baked subs, and much more. Enjoy their hearty buffet Thursday through Sunday. Don't forget their convenient drive through window and delivery service. Be sure to visit any one of their numerous locations in Northeast Ohio. When you're ready for great pizza and more, stop into your pizza shop located on Maslin's West Side. Sergeant Clean's Car Wash in downtown Maslin is your one-stop car cleaning headquarters. Formerly Yen's Car Wash, Sergeant Clean's is veteran-owned and is proud to now be part of the Maslin community. Sergeant Clean's offers unlimited monthly plans and free vacuums starting at under $20. Their friendly and hardworking team members are ready to make your car washing experience the best ever. Drive on in to Sergeant Clean's Car Wash on 1st Street in Maslin. Mayor Kathy Catazaro Perry. When Mayor Kathy took office, the city was in the red. Now it's in the black with budget surpluses. Our mayor continues to invest in our city by paving roads, updating equipment, and reinventing our downtown. Mayor Kathy is making us safe with a new ER, fire station, and police and fire equipment. Plus, she's working hard with businesses to create and retain jobs. Mayor Kathy Catazaro Perry. Thank you to our sponsors, Your Pizza Shop, Sergeant Clean's Car Wash, and Kathy Catazaro Perry for Mayor. <laughs> and we all know who scored that last touchdown. It was Jaden Ballard. The, this kid the is just a, every, every college in this country wanted him. But it started off with the penalty flag from the Bulldogs and carried on to Zion Pfeiffer, number 29, who just ran down the field and just kept just destroying the defensive backs and the linebackers and just running right through them, hitting his holes. A couple passes by Aiden Longwell also to Angelus and Lamp to get that other first down. Then Zion followed up with another first down and then a couple more yards alongside that. And then that gave just perfect time. They gave him the one-on-one -on -one situation with Jaden, which you just don't do. And Jaden, they ate him, dropped back, had a little comfort in his 
his pocket, threw the ball up, and right into the hands of Jaden Ballard as he just waited with his hands right over the player and took it right from him. This, this, this game brings out a lot of talent in some kids that you just don't see, but this kid, he's been having this type of talent since he was a sophomore in high school. Magnus Haynes back to deliver the kick. And it is off. Here it comes. 221 still in the first half. Touchback. As they are just going first to touch that back. On the McKinley 20. Here comes the Madison Tigers defense, and they're bringing back out Seth Lance and Xavier, Ed Xavier Edwards. These guys have been playing great on the special teams on both sides of the ball. Man. Like, you put these kids anywhere, and I gave it to you, they put their whole heart out into it, and they're going to give you some plays out of it. Seth Lance with the one-on-one -on -one situation. Steps back, and he gets a little bit shaken up out of his feet. But a big hit by the defense. Also in on the action, number 33. Seth Lance Xavier stumbles Andrews. just a little bit, but that gave the that gave him enough time for his defense to come around and just swarm and Elijah Wesley. 23, second down seven. Elijah in the backfield with two backs, it seems to be like. And another quarterback keep. And that is stopped by Luke Murphy. As there is a flag on the field. And I think it might be a holding penalty call on the offense. And that will bring the offense back. As the offense and the defense have been making some plays, penalty plays for the Tigers. As they just keep getting pushed back or they're moving the Tigers forward or they're getting farther back at their end farther away from their own end zone and this is something that you don't want especially in the first half and the Tigers are going to feed off of this if they see any type of heads down from McKinley they want McKinley to feel bad and they want for McKinley to feel some type of sorrow or some like ah man something to get their heads down and Masson is going to attack and they're not going to let up either Another handoff to number five, but he's almost stopped by TJ and a couple. He breaks a couple of good tackles from a couple of good players. And you just don't really see that from some of the players, especially from Woolard or TJ Williams, who've been having a great game so far, a great season, actually, I should say. And that is 102 on the seven, still score seven to seven as we will take a break for a moment. Now to hear a word from our sponsor, The Music Shop. The Music Shop on Erie Street North in Massillon is ready to assist anyone in Stark County and surrounding communities. The Music Shop has a great selection of instruments for sale. Not ready to buy? See their wide variety of instrument rentals. Do you need a repair? They'll do anything from touch-up work to full overhauls. In some cases, same-day service is available. See their upstairs recording studio for small or large studio projects. Visit The Music Shop in Massillon and be sure to like them on Facebook. Thank you for that word from our sponsor, The Music Shop. We're right back at it. Trying to get some something going on both sides. Score is still 7-7, seven to seven, but we usually see a score by the defense. Time is 102 on the clock in the first half. This is the second quarter. Elijah keeps the ball again. But he's going to be contained, and he's going to be stopped by Caden Woolard, and Woolard doesn't make the same mistake twice. He was getting them, and he stopped them right behind the line of scrimmage. It seemed to be like 54 seconds left, and there's another. And that is their third final timeout for Maslin. Now a word from our sponsor, Maslin Quick Break. A Maslin staple for over 40 years, Maslin Quick Print is your one-stop shop for all your printing needs. Before you shop the internet, come downtown to see Maslin Quick Print first. 
experience their top-notch customer service and offset printing capabilities. They also specialize in copy services, print media, brochures, invitations, and much more. Visit Maslin Quick Print on First Street Northeast in downtown Maslin. Thank you for that word from our sponsor, Maslin Quick Print. Here comes the Maslin Tigers. Special teams, they're back on the field. And we've seen a lot of McKinley's punt team so far lately. Austin Proudly with an, almost another block punt, it seemed to be like, as that punt will be going out of bounds for the Bulldogs. And so, so far, a pretty good field position for the Tigers. They're back on the field, and they're going to try to take advantage of this type of field position that they, get, they got. 48 seconds left. Tigers here to put another score on the a couple of six on the board. Another six, my fault, excuse my French. Aiden Longwell's shotgun doubles on right and left. Aiden looking for a pass. Andrew Wilson Lamp is out in it, and he's right back out. 45 seconds left. They're trying to consume the time clock. Place the football at the McKinley 42. Jaron Hodges on the left. Andrew's motioning over with Jaron. Jaden and Anthony on the right side. Anthony Aiden trying to get this ball off in time. The bait did not get picked up by the Bulldogs. Terrence Keys on the left side of Aiden. Aiden drops back looking for another pass. Jaden right back out of bounds. 41 seconds on the clock. They're trying to get up the field quick and get another score on the board. And on the play number four, Jonah Lytle for the Bulldogs. New center downs for the Tigers. And the Bulldogs 37 yard line. And that is a first down for the Tigers. As their quick plays are, their fast offense is, they get you first downs and you just don't really realize that they got first downs. As they just move up the field so fast and so quick. Aiden Longwell drops back looking for a pass, and I think he's going to break free. He sees some daylight, but he's going to run out and probably just try to hit the sidelines, but defensive back just jumps on his back. And that will be an injury timeout. And that's Aiden Longwell, and he seems to be a shaking up just a little bit. Tune in every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. for the Nate Moore Show on WHS-TV. Each week, Coach Moore reviews the previous game and looks ahead to the next opponent. Plus, you'll meet and hear from a Tiger player. Watch the Nate Moore Show every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. on WHS-TV. Find us on MCTV, channel 611 and 11. And right now, this is uh, the one person you don't want to see on the field laying down, Aiden Longwell. as he's getting back up. Masson's gonna have to move on with their junior quarterback, Catron, in the backfield. And at quarterback, number 12, junior Zach Catron. Zach drops back, looking for the pass. Has time, still has time, but he's gonna break free and walk out of bounds. 17 seconds left, second down. This will make it third down for the Tigers. About six to go. The bait just not taken there quite yet. It seemed to be like it. Catron drops back, still looking for a pass. Oh, that's Aiden Longwell. And that was just overthrown a little bit. 
12 seconds left. The Tigers are trying to make something out of this. Fourth down, about six to go. Terrence Keys running over on the right side. We got four receivers out of the field. Two on the right, two on the left. Aiden Longwell has all day. Throws the ball up to Andrew Wilson Lamb, but Andrew Wilson Lamb looks to be hold, and there's still no flag on the field. And there is a flag on the field as it seemed to be Andrew was just getting held right on the ball. And that will move the Tigers all, all the way up. Six seconds left on the clock. And folks, if you didn't think that was a penalty call, then you just don't know football. Alex Bauer back to kick the ball off just to get some, to take the lead to going into the half. Kick is up. And it's good, Alex Bauer with the three points. Making the score 10 to seven with two seconds left on the clock. by Alex Bauer. He's been having a great career so far. As he held a record last year for the most consecutive kicks in like a row. Just kept making field goals after field goals after field goals, especially the great season that the Tigers had last season. There's a lot to follow up coming into this season, and the Tigers have been holding it down and making sure that they're not leaving that legacy and unfinished business that they have their little slogan going for. Two seconds left. Magnus Haynes there to kick off the ball. And the kick is off. Nice little squib kick. That will land into the end zone, and that will be a touchback. That will land up on the McKinley's 20. And right now, and right now you just know with two seconds left on the clock, you just know that McKinley is most likely going to go for it all or either just going to take a knee on this play. And that's what it seems to be like is a knee to avoid any type of injury or anything at all. That is your first half. Maslin Tigers 10, Bulldogs 7 in the Hall of Fame. Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium. And we'll meet with you right after these messages. Everyone here at WHS TV would like to thank the following. Now for a word from our sponsor. Announcing their reliable hitting goal. Hall of Fame inductees here at the McKinley Massillon game. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40 plus mile per gallon cars weren't even in the rear view mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's Solar Ready, the quietest, most energy efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call Reliable Heating and Cooling for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, call Reliable Heating and Cooling. Get up to $1,600 in rebates or special financing. One minute, you're out there living life to the fullest. 
next thing you know, you've got sweeping changes to make and your family's future to think about. Talk to a Grange independent agent about how to save by putting all of your insurance with Grange, protecting your possessions and the ones you love. When things zig instead of zag. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange independent agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Thank you for those words from our sponsors, Reliable Heating and Cooling, and Buell and Oliveri Insurance. And we'll be right with the 2019 and 2020 Masson Tigers Washington High School Swing Band after this special presentation on the field. From McKinley High School, number 81, Penny Peterson. Penny <laughs> played in the McKinley Masson rivalry in 1995, 96, and 97. Of the Lee McKinley to victories all three years and a state and <laughs> USA Today National Championship in 1997. The All-County and All-Ohio selection, earning All-American honors in 1997 after posting 101 tackles and 15 sacks. His football career continued at Ohio State, where he earned all Big Ten honors as the Buckeyes won the BCS National Championship. And he played seven seasons in the National Football League with the Packers and the Broncos. Enshrined in the McKinley and Stark County Football Halls of Fame, currently resides in Canton and is the owner of Nothing But Takes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause for the latest inductees into the Great American Rivalry Series Hall of Fame, the late Leon Ashcraft, and from the Bulldogs, Penny Peterson. his television at the Army Tent. Congratulations, Preston Hodges. your 2019-2020 Maslin Tigers Washington High School Swing Band. Under the direction of Jason Neal, assisted by Jim Smith-Eisler, Chris Nussbaum, Jim Unferdorfer, James Gates, and Lauren Foster. Led onto the field by Drum Major Brandon Johnson and OB the Tiger, Ben MacArthur. This is the 2019 edition of the Maslin Tigers Swing Band. With the Maslin tradition since 1938. Fanfare, Tiger Rags, and Carry On.
Good afternoon, the Tiger Swing Band presents some favorites from this marching season. First, let's start with the popular Doobie Brothers hit, Long Train Running. show where we made our contestants think, run, and react. Here is the race.
We close this afternoon's show with a number from our Avengers show. We salute the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and his mentor, Tony Stark. He is Iron Man. And we hope you love it, 3,000. And that was your 2019-2020 Maslin Washington High School Swing Band. Now for a word from our sponsor, Cosmos Grill. If you're searching for great tasting food in a fun, cozy atmosphere, then be sure to visit Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin. Enjoy lunch or dinner with family, friends, and coworkers. Cosmos Grill has a large upstairs room too, perfect for family gatherings, receptions, and class reunions. And then there's the food, your favorite appetizers, soups, salads, entrees, and desserts. Don't forget their wonderful wood fire pizza. It's amazing. Visit Cosmos Grill on First Street, in downtown Maslin. My name is Jaden Wilson, and you're watching Maslin Tiger Football only on WHS TV. The Eye of the Tiger. WHS would like to thank the following sponsors for their financial support, allowing us to bring you tonight's game. Reliable Heating and Cooling, Bonnie's and Graver's Gallery, Cosmos Grill, Buell and Oliveri Insurance, Expert Auto Collision, Tower Industries, Discount Tire Outlet, Friends and Family Credit Union, Maslin YMCA, Stark State College, Downtown Maslin Association, Maslin AAA, Progressive Chevrolet, Progressive Jeep, Dodge, Ram, Kathy, Catazaro Perry for Mayor, Sergeant Cleans Car Wash, Angry Barbecue, Metacap Pharmacy, Buffalo Wild Wings of Maslin, WHS Alumni Association, Your Pizza Shop, Maslin Quick Print, Mercy Cancer Center, Home Appliance, The Music Shop, Erie Street Pub, Powell Chiropractic, Maslin Boys and Girls Club, and MCTV. And we're back at it again. Thank you, Anna, for all that. We're back at it again. It's second half, and it's 11.54 on the clock. The Tigers are finally on the field with their offense, and they are just... Going into the halftime, you know the Tigers have been discussing, like, hey, we need to make some plans. We need to discuss some things. We need to get down the field faster, and we need to hold this team from scoring. They shouldn't even have scored, honestly, the last time, but just a couple of mistakes were made. Terrence Keyes with the handoff. But just a couple of mistakes were made to, that led up to that touchdown. 
Here's some stats from the second quarter. Terrence Keys has 10 carries for 51 yards, averaging about four, four and a half yards per carry. Zion Pfeiffer with five, but he has 29, and he's averaging about five yards per game. Jaden Ballard, six catches, 31 yards, and one touchdown. And almost an interception for the McKinley Bulldogs. Robbie Page is still leading the defense with four and a half tackles. And then you got Luke Murphy that crawled right back up there with four tackles of his own. Manny McElroy still with two. Caden Woolard with two and a half. And let's jump over to the Bulldogs section. Lemire Garrett, 11, 11 number of carries with 46 yards. Three and a half is what he's averaging. Elijah Wesley with 34 yards, one touchdown, and a sack. He has a, he's been sacked. And just like a lot of plays have been happening so far for the Tigers and for the Bulldogs, both good and bad, as that is a great throw from Aiden Longwell that gains a big first down for the Tigers. Durant with four tackles, Joseph. I can't, I don't want to butcher that name, but he has, Joseph has four and a half tackles of his own leading the uh, leading the Bulldogs himself. Jonah Leiter with still four tackles. Stokes Williams with three tackles. And so far, McKinley has been making a lot of what I would like to say mental mistakes and a lot of penalty flags that gave the Tigers really, really good field position and even gave sometimes their only, their even their own offense some bad field position to get not they weren't being able to move up the field at all they were just stuck in the back they just kept moving backwards and just this this half right here both teams just need to stay focused and don't make mental mistakes at all so as we can see we got Andrew Wilson Lamb Jaden Ballard back again as they are looking in the first quarter both on the same side on the right we got Aiden Longwell in the backfield shotgun formation alongside Terrence Keys on the left side Michael Billman it seems to be as the fullback tight end is Ethan Tobin. Hand off to Terrence Keyes as he's breaking the tackle and he moves up field for a first down. Terrence Keyes with one of his best games being a Barberton game as he had 30 carries for 255 yards and five touchdowns. This man is electric to watch and he's just a great kid on and off the field. And one of the top uh, players that Maslin has is one of their secret weapons too. Uh, not even a secret weapon. He's just, you know he's out there. He just can't be stopped. Andrew and Jaden motions over to the left side of the field. Billman's still at fullback. They're, they have Alejandro, Tobin, Terrence Rankle. They have all the big boys up front. John Cooth, Rager, and Dylan Garrettson are out there. Ooh, a fake handoff to Jaden Ballard. Jaden Ballard breaks a couple tackles, but he slips up for a gain of about four on the play. Seven, it seems to go on the field as that will bring up second down. 9.27 to go on this clock. Aiden Longwell still in the shotgun. He's looking around. Aiden barely throws any interceptions, if not and no interceptions in a game. He's just, he doesn't really make those type of mistakes. He knows where his receivers are going to be at at any moment of the game, and he just makes beautiful passes. Terrence Keyes making a beautiful run up the middle, and there's a couple flags out on the field. We'll see what those are about in a moment. I was holding on the offense, and that's going to, like I said, mental mistakes from the Tigers. That's going to push them back after good yards gained from the Tigers. Holding is the call against the Tigers. Ball placed at the 30-yard line. It'll be second down, 18. Trips over on the right, one-on-one -on -one with Andrew Wilson Lamp. Terrence Keys in the backfield. Aiden Longwell, he's going to drop back. He's looking for a pass, and that's a screen play off to Terrence Keys. Terrence Keys is trying to look for some blocks. He's bouncing off it. He's getting the first and more. Terrence Keys Jr. Calling out the blocks, getting around, making sure where he's got to go. He's just running up the middle, doing a little this and that, just a little bit of spice on the field. Terrence Keys, they're all the way back in the probably like 15 yards away from the first down. Terrence Keys goes right up the middle and finally gets his first down. Terrence Keys, what a wonderful job. This kid is, like I said, and I will keep saying it, is electric to watch. Tyler Friend is the new fullback, double on the right. 
Anthony Pedro, Jaden Ballard. He's looking for a fake Terrence. handoff, but that was a right to Terrence, and that was a no gain at all on the play. What a beautiful run by this kid, man. Just a beautiful run. You just, that's just something you love to see. And they bring, you bring out all sorts of tricks and whatnots when you're playing against McKinley. Zion Pfeiffer into the game. Jaron Hodges also. Aiden Longwell's bait does not get taken at all. Trips over on the right. Solo Dolo with Andrew Wilson Lamp against Jonah Lytle. Aiden dropping back, looking for the pass. He's going for a deep one, folks. Right to Anthony, and Anthony with the missed catch. Incomplete pass. That was intended for Anthony, but a lot of coverage right there. That was a tight ball to throw. 10 to 7 still. Three, third and 10 on the 50. Tigers looking here to either... Try to get the ball as close to the first down or pass as the first down as they can. Ten yards to go. Robbie Page is in the game as we've been seeing him a lot on the offensive side of the ball. Motion's over. Andrew Wilson Lamp. Aiden drops back looking for the pass. He's looking for Andrew Wilson Lamp who's wide open for the catch. And that would be a first down and a couple more on the play. Andrew Wilson Lamp with the first down. Aiden Longwell waiting patiently in his pocket because the offensive line just doing their job today. Beautiful blocking by the offensive line. Terrence Keyes back into the game. Michael Billman, fullback. Aiden Longwell, shotgun, his original formation with Andrew and Jaden Ballard on the left side of the field. Jonah Lytle, one on one with Jaden Ballard. Terrence Keyes with the handoff, bounces outside. Terrence About a gain of six or five, a little bit of a hit right there on the field. Terrence Keyes gets back up. He can take a hit. This kid knows how to take a hit. He just gets right back up and says, yeah, good job. Pats him on the head and just keeps on playing the next play. Zion Pfeiffer is right back into the game as also, as you see him, 2-9. The 35 game is three, second down seven. Motions over Billman to the left. Aiden, same play with Jaden Ballard. Jaden. And the Bulldogs very upset about that as they were looking for a penalty flag for Andrew Wilson Lamp, who they thought was a holding penalty on him. But no penalty flags were caught as that was about a gain of two or three on the play. Three and six to go. The Tigers are looking for this first down and they're most look, certainly looking towards that end zone. Trips over on the right. Andrew Wilson Lamp one-on-one -on -one with Jonah. Looks for it. Anthony, Anthony's wide open, and that was a catch made by Anthony, a big hit. He took that hit, but he also got that catch made. And it seemed to be a first down, and they are moving the change right up the field, folks. And as you can just hear the Tiger crowd going wild, this whole community just seems to be out here as they got the stands filled with orange and black and white. Double on the right, Anthony and Jaden. One-on-one -on -one with Andrew Wilson Lamp. A handoff to Terrence Keyes, but quickly piled up and stopped around the line of scrimmage. And on the stop, 52 DJ Owens. 553 left in the third quarter. Seven still the score is 10 to seven. Tigers are in a little lead, but a, a big lead if you get what I'm trying to say. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27. Motion's over Jaden to the right side. Aiden's dropping back. He's looking for, he's looking for a deep one. He's looking for a deep one. Ooh. And he was trying to get a pass off to Andrew, but Andrew was well guarded and well defended on that play. 525 in the third quarter. Third, and once again, they still have 10 yards to go. 
They're back in the same spot. Last time they got the first down, can we see the Tigers do it once again? Aiden, shotgun, Zion on the left side. Trips on the left. Zion with the handoff, got the big hole, but he just couldn't hit it in time as he's wrapped up by three Bulldogs. Ball carrier number 29, Zion Feitner. And this will be fourth and 10, and so far, we only seen the Tigers special teams be out one time so far for an extra point. Well, to get more, more points to make the score 10, we have seen no punt, no nothing from the Tigers as they've been going for it all. And both crowds going wild. Fourth and seven, Aiden and shotgun, but a timeout has been called on the Tigers. Before the snap, timeout, Maslin, their first of the half. Now for a word from our sponsor, Expert Auto Collision. For nearly 40 years, Expert Auto Collision has been serving Stark County with premium customer service and collision repair. Bring your wrecked vehicle and they'll immediately get to work with you and your insurance company to get your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Expert Auto Collision's professional crew has the experience and the drive to bring your damaged vehicle back to life. Don't let an accident get your goat. Come see me, Tara, at Expert Auto Collision, the only female-owned and operated collision repair center in Northeast Ohio. Expert Auto Collision, where we meet good people by accident. Have a craving for great tasting southern kitchen items and smokehouse favorites like pulled pork, smoked brisket, and hearty ribs? Then you need to take your big appetite to Angry Barbecue located in downtown Massa. Angry Barbecue has something for everyone, including awesome appetizers, barbecue platters, specialty burgers, vegetarian choices, and lip smacking desserts. And don't forget about Angry Barbecue's catering service for your next big event. So head on down to Angry Barbecue located at the corner of Lincoln Way and Erie Street in downtown Massa. Thank you to our sponsors, Expert Auto Collision and Angry Barbecue. And here it comes from right back from break. The crowd's going wild. The play, the refs have just whistled to get this play on their way. Aiden looking for a big pass. And it is intercepted by the Bulldogs. And that just seemed like a tight pass to throw, but Aiden's one of those gunslinger quarterbacks. And just that time was not being able to throw the ball as that is intercepted by number 27, Harold Finn, the 6'3 sophomore. <laughs> Tigers defense back on the field as they've been dominant so far in this game. <laughs> Eliza steps back with the handoff, bouncing it out to the outside. First down and a couple more on the play. Garrett in the backfield. Hand off to Garrett. Garrett's breaking away to the outside. And is wrapped up by Luke, Robbie Page and Benjamin Creepbaum. And there's a flag on the field. We're about to see who this flag is. About. And that is a flag on the offense. Four minutes and 26 seconds to go third quarter. This game is getting really tense knowing that the fourth quarter is only four minutes away in this game. Feels like the players and fans just showed up. Liza hands off to Garrett. Garrett is wrapped up pretty quick. Around the five. Garrett, tackle by 49, Caden Willard. <laughs> big plays. Well, for big seven. players. 
and Woolard, Ethan Tobin, Corey Campbell, and Manny McRoy have been making that statement true this whole season. These guys have been playing great, been clogging up the inside holes. They, that's why most of the running backs that you'd be playing against, against the Massa, bounce out to the outside because you cannot go with the inside because they haven't contained too much. They're ready for you to run on the inside. Corey Campbell wraps him up, but he that was not the play with the ball. Eliza keeps it for the quarterback sneak, and he is wrapped up by a bunch of Tigers. Elijah Wesley. As he is moving the chain Bulldogs. right down the field, as that is the first down for the Bulldogs. Ball on the 44-yard line. Three minutes and 25 seconds to go on the clock. Preston Hodges off the edge, looking to show a little tiny blitz right there. Liza fakes handoff, looking for a pass, and that's a deep one. Ooh, and it looked to be a pass to Andrew Wilson Lamb. Looking for a lost girl, Jaja Wilson. If you can hear us, Jaja, please return to your seat and be reunited with your family. That pass was oh, so overthrown that it looked like that Andrew Wilson Lamb was on the field trying to receive the ball from his offensive player. 11 years old. Garrett, right side, left side of the field of Eliza. Trips over on the left. Another handoff to Garrett. Garrett's Lamir bouncing out to the outside, Garrett. but he is wrapped up and stopped quickly by Preston Hodges. Open field tackle by number three, Preston Hodges. The McKinley 47-yard line. 241 down, left in this, first, in this third quarter of play. Three, third down and seven to go for the Bulldogs. And we all know that this is the Tigers' money down, as they like to call it, as this proves whether or not this team is ready to be able to get this first down. The Tigers are going to try to make their stop right here, right now. And most likely this ball is going to be handed off to Garrett, but this is a timeout off the board. Now for a word from our sponsor, Maslin YMCA. Hi, my name is Jim Stanford. I'd like to welcome you to the YMCA of Western Star County, where we have been serving our community for almost 100 years. Everybody is welcome at the YMCA, regardless of their inability to pay. This is where you get strong and we'll help you do that. Welcome to the Maslin YMCA Child Care, where we offer full day preschool, before and after school in the Maslin and Perry School District, as well as summer camp. You can do it all here at the YMCA. Thank you for that word from our sponsor, Maslin YMCA. And both these teams have been very aggressive. Very pushing it down, but going down the field consistently and smoothly, but as you can tell, the penalties have been calling them back and moving them farther away from where they want to be, that be, and that is the end zone. Everybody wants to get in that end zone all the time, and especially the Tigers, 10 points. The Tigers do not like having 10, as they are usually up in the 40s and 50s most of the time. And, but this game brings a different type of energy and atmosphere. You just don't know what can happen. <laughs> Seven yards to go. It is third down. The Tigers are here to make this stop. Be ready to see the ball in Garrett's hands, number five in the backfield. Left side of Elijah, double on the right side. And, and it's a keep by the quarterback, but he is tripped up in about two yards or three yards shy of the first down. And let's see whether or not they're going to take their special teams in, take their offense out and put their special teams in. And here it is. Fourth and one to go. Tigers on the line. The Bulldogs trying to get on the first down. Let's see what can happen. The bait was not taken by Elijah Wesley. Here we go. And it's a handoff to Garrett. 
Garrett gets the first down, and he gets the first down and more, and it seems to be him going into the end zone. No flags on the field. And that is a touchdown. Well, Lamir Garrett, number five, as Bobby Page was seen to get a flag on the field, but there was no flag thrown. That would make the score 13 to 10. Extra point is up, and it is good for the three balls. Sponsor, Home Appliance. It's where we come together, where we are rested, nourished, and renewed. It's where convenience and performance surround the ones we love. It's home. Home Appliance and Whirlpool help homes happen with innovation you can depend on and quality you can trust. Right now, purchase select Whirlpool Kitchen and Whirlpool Laundry Appliances and save. And pay no interest when paid in full within 12 months. Home Appliance, where your home comes together. This right here, this play shows that, that touchdown shows that the Tigers cannot get overwhelmed and they cannot put their heads down. The Tigers just gotta receive this kick and they just gotta keep their heads up and they just gotta keep playing ball. They can't let this, they just can't let this go, let them get it down. As we got two new backs in the backfield returning the kick, TJ Williams and Isaiah Robertson. There's a flag on the field. Seven in the third, 14 to 10. Tigers are trailing by four. Kick is up, and it is right out of bounds, as that will be a penalty flag. Isaiah Robertson and TJ Williams again. kicker's hands to be able to kick the ball. down to T.J. Williams. T.J. Williams fields the catch. He's right up the field. And almost fumbles the ball. You know, and that's 
special teams play with number 15, Ron McDonald, and no others. This is Brian Pinkney on the action. Another start. Here comes Massive Tigers offense once again on the field, looking to put some points on the board as they have been scoreless since the second quarter, the beginning of the second quarter. Terrence Keyes with the handoff right up the middle. Terrence Keyes breaks the tackle. Terrence Keyes is going, and you are not going to be able to touch Terrence Keyes. Number six is gone. Touchdown, Terrence Keyes. And can you believe it, folks? I told you, you cannot tackle this man one-on-one. -on -one. He is a terminator. He just keeps on going and going and going. And before you even know it, he is into the end zone, making the score 16 to 14. 112 to left in the uh, third quarter. Terrence Keys with a beautiful long run. Kick is up by Alex Bauer and is good, making the score 17 to 14. And just like that, the Tigers strike back. Now for a word from our sponsor, the WHS Alumni Association. T-I-G-E-R-S. T-I-G-E-R-S. W-H-S is the best. The Washington High School Alumni Association, keeping Tigers connected. Please join us and send a contribution today. Thank you for that word from our sponsor, the WHS Alumni Association. And that right there brings out the spark in the Tigers. The Tigers do will never put their heads down, even though they're losing by a four points. The Tigers came back and they struck back fast. When Terrence Keyes got that ball in his hand, hit right up the left side of the field and was gone. Nobody can tackle him, nobody touched him. He's just too fast and our special teams just gets the hawking down. This is why they call him the Black Swarmer and there might have been a fumble on the field. Seth Lance and Isaiah Clark surrounding the ball, getting it done. And now the devastating Mass and Tigers defense right back out of the field. 107 to go, 17 to 14. The Tigers are in the lead. A quick comeback for the Tigers. Elijah has Garrett in the backfield on the left side. Wesley hands off to Garrett. Garrett trying to drive up the middle, but it was too slow as Preston Hodges just fills up the gap, and he's just right there. The Tigers are just on a roll right now. They just cannot be stopped. Once Tigers get the going, like they say, the train get the going, it just, you just can't stop the train. Andrew Wilson Lamp still on a corner position. TJ Williams is right back out there as a corner two. You have Robbie Page, Luke Murphy, Benjamin Creekbaum, Noah Richards, Caden Woolard, and then you have the three big men up front. I don't even have to introduce them. Oh, and almost an interception, but Robbie Page just lays the wood down. It was either a big hit or a pick six. Robbie just trying to get both of them. 26 seconds left on the clock. The Tigers are in their mood. And you can just hear the Madison Tigers fans saying defense, defense, defense. And that's, that defense is sure came out today to play. Elijah Wesley stepping back, looking for a pass. Has no room, so he has to run. But Benjamin Kriegbaum, you just can't get past the number one player leading the team in tackles.
Number one for the Maslin Tigers. That will bring fourth down and five to go. And bringing out the Bulldogs secondary as that is going to lead the Tigers into the fourth quarter. The Tigers with a quick comeback, 17 to 14. Tigers lead. Now for a word from our sponsor, Progressive Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. We're a tight-knit community. We know our neighbors. We see them Friday nights at the stadium and Saturday mornings at the grocery store. We take care of each other. Let Progressive Jeep Ram take care of you. When you do business with Progressive Jeep Ram, you invest in more than a car. You invest in our community. Progressive Jeep Ram, they're just good people. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. Thank you to our sponsors, Progressive Jeep, Dodge Ram, and Friends and Family Credit Union. And another win for the Tigers as the Tigers won the chin-up challenge for the Marine pull-up challenge as the Tigers have won all three rivalry things except for the game so far. So if the Tigers could go 4-0, that would be something in one day. Something right now. They're just waiting for, for the whistle to be blown. And this is the fourth quarter. 12 minutes, the final 12 minutes to this game to decide whether or not the Tigers are going to win. And you could just hear the TIGs and the ERSs in that packed stadium crowd. And here comes the punt. It's a, it seems to be a fake punt. Ooh, and almost a block punt by Preston Hodges as he was trying to soar and get that block punt. But he seems to be a little shaken up, but he's going to get right back up and run to the sideline. And here comes the lethal massive Tigers offense. Terrence Keyes, who just broke out and just kept running towards like he was a Madden created player. The end zone, he putting up the 17 points on the board for the Tigers. Terrence Keyes once again with the handoff. He's breaking outside to the left. Right up the middle, almost the first down. Terrence Keyes with the third quarter stats. He has 18 carries, 131 yards. His longest was that run of 63, averaging 6.8 yards per carry. Robbie Page still leading the defense in tackles with five and a half. Luke Murphy right behind him with four. Preston Hodges back on the board with 4-0. And Benjamin Kriegbaum with four tackles. These three, these four guys right here are the reason why the defense is striving in what they're doing right now. Jaden Ballard with eight number of catches, 35 yards, and still that single TD. Aiden Longwell has having a game so far with 16 of 24 attempts, 16 catches of 24 attempts, 127 yards. Lamir Garrett, 17 carries, 124 yards. The longest of 48. 6.8 is what he's averaging, and these two backs are having a game going back to back to back to back. They're just attacking the holes and just getting everywhere on the field. They're making hayway, if I like to say that. Zion Pfeiffer still up on his feet, but drugged down pretty fast. 
Joseph is at has seven and a half tackles for leading the Bulldogs. Jonah Lytle with five, Harold Finney with five, and Dejour Garrett with four. Just what's killing these both of these teams right now would have to be the penalties. Maslin has four penalties for 35 yards, and the Bulldogs have 10 for 95. The 25-yard line by number four. And that's a, it might not seem like a lot, but 95 yards, that adds up, and that's why the Tigers have been getting such good field position. And just a running game, too, by the Tigers have just getting them, been getting them right. Third down, two yards to go, ball on the 25. This is the fourth quarter, folks. 10-37 is left in the fourth quarter. Zion Pfeiffer in the game on the right side with Michael Billman, Tyler Friend. Zion is going to get the ball. He's running right up the middle. He's trying to get to the end zone, but he is tackled by a couple more Bulldog players. What a great game Zion Pfeiffer has been having. Every time they have put him in for these third down chances, he has been getting them the first downs every single time. Zion knows how to run the ball. Don't get him wrong. Zion, the right side of Aiden Longwell. Aiden going to hand it off once again. He's going to bounce through the middle and get a gain about four or five on the play. Another stop, second consecutive. Senior defensive lineman, number 77, Alex Smith. Ball at the 15, gain of two, second down eight. Second and eight on the field for the Tigers. 9.45 left on the clock. Ball on the 15. Terrence Keyes is checked back into the game. Doubles on the left for the Tigers. They're mentioning over to the right for Tyler Friend. And this is going to be a bomb to an interception for the Bulldogs. As that seemed to be a beautiful pass, but Jaden Ballard was just not looking as Aiden threw the ball, and that tipped the, that caused him to tip the ball and call, throw another interception. That is Aiden Longwell's section, second interception of the day for the Tigers. That will put them on the 11. know the defense got to be frustrated so they're going to bring out a lot of anger in this type of drive this defensive drive they're in good field position too oh and a nice wrap up but just couldn't hold on to him Luke Murphy you just don't see Luke Murphy missing those type of tackles also that is probably his first missed tackle of the game so far Garrett gets the ball again, trying to run up the field, and is pushed back by the Tigers, stopped by Noah Richards. Oh, and it seems to be a fumble, but they're not going to call it. They're going to say he was down. Lamir Garrett, the ball carrier. And the Tigers in on the stop number 25, <laughs> Noah Richards. Third down, six to go, 8.30 on the clock. 17 to 14, the Tigers are in the lead. Wesley dropping back, looking for the pass on T.J. Williams. And that is a catch by number 11, Jalen Ross. And that went from being great defensive drive to the Blue Dogs past the 50-yard line. Jalen Ross from the quarterback. 
7.41 on the clock. Wesley hands off to Garrett. Garrett bouncing out, breaking a couple tackles. Tackled by Robbie Page. Now the Bulldogs are moving right up the field. Wesley in the backfield, Garrett on the right side. Garrett's going to get this hand off again, but he is wrapped up big time. And is tossed down by Manny McElroy. The whistle was not blown, so the play was not over. So that was a legal hit. Manny McElroy with the big body. Those three men to get your hands on you. Those four men to get them hands on you when they're in the defensive line Come stance. Stop by number 15, Luke Murphy. Also in on the action, number two, Robbie Page. At the 33-yard line, third down. The time of remaining in this quarter of the fourth. Six minutes and 10 seconds to go. Score is still 17 to 14, the Tigers are looking to get this defensive stop so they can put their offense right back on the field and leave off where they started and get a touchdown. Garrett once again with the handoff, but scooped up quickly. Come up about a yard, shot the first down, maybe two. Combining on the tackle number 50, senior Ethan Tobin. Fourth down, two to go. Bulldogs are most likely going to go for it. Ball on the 31-yard line. Fans on both sides are going crazy. Five nineteen. Time ticking down. Garrett gets the ball. Juggles a little bit. But he is pushed forward to the first down. Here they go. Their back's against the wall. They're trying to make sure this Bulldogs offense don't score. But Woolard was right there, and he read that play perfectly. Caden Woolard, number 49. You guys knew he's going to be back there making that stop on the play. Jalen Ross has been a big factor to the Bulldogs, but also been a big factor for the Massive Tiger highlight plays. DJ Williams is guarding Jalen. Andrew Wilson Lamp with the one-on-one -on -one situation out there. Seven-man front once again for the Bulldogs. And they've been playing that the whole season long. Well, in this game in general. Garrett is busting out to the right side. And that seemed to be just a yard shy of the first down.
Elijah Wesley keeping it. Murphy on his heels. Murph with the tackle on the play, but Elijah Wesley a little bit shaken up on the field. And both fans with the blue and the cheering, the Tigers going crazy. Time out on the field from the Bulldogs. Now for a word from our sponsor, the Massive Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. And here we are, folks, three minutes, seven seconds left, fourth down, three to go for the Bulldogs. And this kind of predicts whether this game is going to go in the Bulldogs' favor or the Mass and Tigers' favor. And let's see what will happen for the Bulldogs, and let's see what will happen for the Tigers. And both fans are on their feet, going crazy. Let's see what happens and what will prevail for any team. Three yards to go. Either Garrett or Wesley is going to get the ball in their hands and the Tigers know that for a fact. Oh, Wesley drops back and a wide open. Oh, Andrew Wilson Lamb with the tip pass. And it seemed to be a wide open pass, but Andrew Wilson Lamp read the play. He broke off of his wide receiver and ran right there to break the pass apart. What a great play by Andrew Wilson Lamp. This kid is an athlete. Maslin Tigers are back on the field. Three minutes and one second left in the fourth quarter. Ball on the 17-yard line. Zion Pfeiffer is checked into the game. One-on-ones on both sides of the ball with receiving core. Ball carrier is Zion Pfeiffer. Brought down by number 249 in this fourth quarter of play. Second down, eight to go. Ball on the 19 now. Zion has moved the ball forward. Two minutes and 40 seconds. The clock is still ticking down. Aiden Longwell in the backfield. Tried to get the bait, but nobody took it. Zion moving over to the right side. Zion with the handoff, running up the field, and about gain of a two or three. Terrence Keats is getting checked into the game for Zion Pfeiffer. 77 is Noah Smith. Number three, Joseph Saipakia. Third and six, Maslin on the Tigers, 21. Trips over on the left. Terrence Keys on the left side. 143 to play in this final quarter. Third down, six to go for the Tigers. Ball on the 21 yard line. And that will be a timeout for the Tigers. Now for a word from our sponsor, Discount Tire Outlet.
first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. There's a simpler way to buy tires at Tire Pros. For hassle free, guarantee. Discount Tire Outlet and Tire Tower Industries. Time is 129. Three to three, third down, six to go. Ball on the 21. Aiden is looking for a far catch, and this is a catch by Jaden Ballard. Jaden Ballard is going downfield, and Jaden Ballard is walking right into the end zone. Number nine cannot be guarded by one person. I will keep saying this all season long and going into the playoffs. This kid is something else. Jaden Ballard with the miraculous catch to seal the deal practically for the Tigers. 23 to 14, 118 to go on the clock. And Bulldogs fans already leaving the stadium knowing that the their fate is the fate is sealed for the Tigers. 24 to 14. 118 to go. Now for a word from our sponsor, Mercy Cancer Center. There has been an important local development in cancer care. The American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer has given Stark County's Mercy Cancer Center the Outstanding Achievement Award. Even more, Mercy has won this award the fourth consecutive time, rare nationally and unmatched in Ohio. This is a fulfillment of Mercy's promise of the finest cancer care in the nation. These four awards are for you. Learn more at cantonmercy.org slash four awards. Thank you to our sponsor, Mercy Cancer Center. And like I said all the time, I can't stress it enough, Jaden Ballard is one of those kids that are just unique. If you got a double guard, to do it. Because the ball is going to go towards that kid or to Andrew Wilson Lamp. And Jaden Ballard, he has the height advantage against him. He has the speed against him. He has the athleticism and the pure heart against him. Jaden Ballard with a great catch. And the way to keep his balance and stay up on his feet was a miracle. Jaden Ballard with one of the best plays for Tigers and one of the best players and this this season for the Maslin Tigers as that sealed the deal practically for the for Maslin against K and McKinley. Magnus Haynes off with the kick. 118. Time is ticking down now. He is sworn by Masson Tigers as Andrew Xavier Edwards, Darian Williams, Austin Bradley, and TJ Williams were all there to stop him on the run. <laughs> One minute and 11 seconds left in the second half of play. One minute and 11 seconds left, and there's a timeout on Maslin. Now for a sponsor, now for a word from our sponsor, Stark State College. What made me choose Stark State? 
They have the lowest tuition around and their programs easily transfer to other colleges. I've studied in areas like political science and sociology with great professors who have a lot of real world experience. I'm earning an associate degree that transfers to Ohio State and I wanna make an impact working in international law someday. I will be a leader, I will make a difference, and I've already been smart about getting my start at Stark State College. Thank you for that word from our sponsor, Stark State College. Ah, and you just feel the aroma in the air as it is one minute and 11 seconds and, and the Tigers are just in a good lead and they feel comfortable as it seems to be four years in a row the Tigers are taking home the bell one minute and five seconds left and the time's ticking down 55 good time Steve Studer 50 seconds Drops back. Wesley drops back looking for the pass, but he's soaked up by Caden Mullard on the play. 35 seconds left, and the time is ticking down, and you can already feel it as the Tigers are getting ready to win their four consecutive years in a row. 20 seconds, and I can already hear that bell swinging and ringing. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Wesley drops back looking for a pass. But it's caught. But it doesn't matter because this game is already over. 24 to 14. Four seconds left on the clock. Oh, and Andrew Wilson Lamp seems to be a little bit shaken up on the play. And this is something you don't want to see, even though it's literally the end of the game. Four seconds left on this clock. Andrew up and he's ready to run. He seems to be good. Jaden Ballard is going to be checked into the game as they're going to probably play a cover three to make sure. No, nope, they're taking Jaden Ballard out of the game. Wesley in shotgun formation. Garrett on the right. And that is game, folks. Maslin Tigers 24 to 14. The McKinley Bulldogs have lost in their own stadium. Maslin ringing the bell for four consecutive years in a row. And this is just something you just, you can't write. This is what, this is what Maslin has been working for every single day. This moment right here to be able to go home and ride that bell and ring it so that even McKinley can hear it. As we wrap up tonight's coverage of Mass and Tiger football, we want to take the time and thank the members of WHS TV crew. Tonight's production crew includes Amanda Allen, Blake Davis, Anna Wallace, Cyan Gump, Robbie Rex, and yours truly, Marcel Dickerson. Also, thanks to our directors, Mr. Farrell, Mr. Dewald, and Mr. Rock. And for all of us here at WHS TV, thanks for watching, and as always, go Tigers.
For over 50 years, MCTV has kept our community and your home connected. We invest in our hometown and the technology that powers it, bringing you faster speeds, sharper pictures, stronger connections, and better local service that's sure to make you smile. Because with us, you're more than a customer. You're also our neighbor. MCTV, we go the extra smile. I joined cosmetology because I've always loved coloring hair and different colors and makeup. I joined media because I've always had a passion for all things related to media. I've always had a passion for teaching other people, especially topics that I'm interested in. I want to pursue a career as an orthopedic surgeon. And so when I saw that we had this class, I immediately circled it on my schedule and was excited to join. This class has made me better because it made me very responsible. I like the relationships that I've developed in this class. The girls that are in here with me, I've really grown close with all of them. I joined this class because I enjoy helping others and I want to make a difference. Even like just making something and having people go, wow, that's really interesting. It means the world. It was just a really good environment to be in. It was real hands-on and it was just something I really wanted to do. I joined the construction trades to gain experience in the job I want in the future. Everything that this class has taught me will account for my career in the future. Before I came to this class, I was unemployed and Ms. Markley helped me get a job. I'm going to use what I learned in manufacturing in order to better decide my career. It gave me more knowledge on cars and gave me plans to go in the auto industry. Maslin CTE works for me. 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 Works for me. For me. For me. For me. Maslin CTE works for me. For me. For me.